Welcome to Stump the Scientist. Hi everyone, we're here with our Stump the Scientist, Jim Bray. So Jim, John Ponder, our Facebook friend, would like to know, do molecules get old like humans? Hmm, an interesting question. And the answer is yes, although they don't get old in the same way as humans. Humans, as you know, tend to age gradually, and molecules, when they fall apart, do so more abruptly. But first, let's think of what a molecule is. You know that molecules are made of collections of atoms, which are joined together by chemical bonds. Now, the atoms themselves do not really tend to age. They have a very, very long life. Uh, however, there are atoms which are unstable. We call them radioactive, and they do change. They do fall apart. But for most stable molecules, they'll last a while because the atoms in them last a while. They can, however, undergo changes. If we have a simple molecule, and let's take an example, if we have two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom, we can form a molecule of water. It's a very simple molecule and very important to us. We all use it every day. That's a pretty stable molecule. But we can make that molecule fall apart if we want to by heating it, for instance, to a very high temperature. And we could call that an aging of that molecule. But there are other molecules that are very complicated compared to the three atoms in a molecule of water. For instance, the proteins in our body are made literally, the protein molecules are made of hundreds of thousands of atoms. Now these molecules can undergo a series of changes or degradations that we could call aging of the molecule. In fact, these are studied in biology and they use names like denaturing or racemization to describe the various degradations that these very large molecules can undergo. So we can call that an aging of the molecule. And finally, the connection between that kind of aging of these large molecules and the aging that humans have is that the current theory says that our aging is connected to the degradation of these molecules in our body. So as we age, we find that these molecules in our bodies tend also to degrade. So that's a good question, John, and I hope that answer is helpful to you.